All right, beautiful people. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Guys. We got it in. Dragon folk, we have the goods. Now, obviously, I'm doing the smart thing here. Uh, I'm opening one, and I bought two. So, uh, I'm opening one, and then I'm keeping the other for sealed purposes. Um, but, yeah. So... Uh, we'll actually go ahead and just crack this bad boy open and get to ripping packs. So, uh, I know we're, we've are we been opening a lot of Strixhaven recently. Um, I'm happy to get this stuff in. I know my, uh, my commander decks are probably going to be coming in sometime soon here, hopefully. So, hopefully that all works out. This is my first time opening the booster box for Strixhaven. So far, pretty good stuff, you know. Got the packs. It comes with all of them, so that's at least good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is our uh, our Strixhaven booster box. Uh, set booster box, to be specific. So um, I know those are... Uh, they tend to be a lot more valuable in the... It looks like, I don't know, from what I'm seeing, the Mythic slot seems to be pretty, pretty wild, so... Uh, let's just see what we can pull, right? Let's see what we can do. So, uh, let's see. Maybe we gotta choose our, our magic one here. Uh, maybe like in the middle of this stack. That one. Alright, this guy. I'm gonna go right up there. That's a special pack. So, we're gonna go ahead and get it started. See what we can pull here, right? We're obviously looking for good Mystical Archive cards, and we're looking for, um, the dragons, right? I'd like to get at least some of the, uh... The dragons. And apparently, also, for the record, guys, these art cards, if you can get them signed, they go for a pretty penny. So, that's, uh, that's pretty good to see. Alright, always starts off with the lesson. And then we've got our commons here. Alright. We've seen a lot of these throughout our openings, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time looking through them. Oh, there was only one uncommon. And a Frost Boil Snarl. Oh, we gotta do something about these piles. Pull it up here. Put these over here. And then... Alright, so we hit a, uh, a Frost Boil Snarl here. Uh, another one of those pretty cool dual lands. Um... Frostbrook now enters the battlefield and may reveal an island or mountain card from your hand. And if you don't, it enters the battlefield tapped. So, pretty interesting land combo there. We've got a Cultivate. Um, we're going to put our rares right up there. And we've got a Cultivate, right? And an Emergent Sequence. So, those are hollows. All right. And then our, our good old tokens. So, good. Our piles are set. <laughs> Luckily, everybody can... It looks like everybody can see them. The... Uh, Cards seem to be going through. Ooh, so um, for those of you who don't know, right, we've opened these set boosters a lot, but the back of the pack, right, when you open it like this, it's either going to contain a token, it's going to look something like this, right, or it's not going to contain a token. And if it doesn't contain a token, that means that the last slot in this pack is from the list, which is a set that, uh, you know, you can get a whole bunch of older cards from. So, pretty cool stuff. We still don't have a, uh, a gold art card. It's pretty cool to get that. All right, a common lesson. Frost Trickster, charge through. Let's see, I'm, I'm getting all these dragons' approaches. I mean, they're good, right? Deals three damage to each opponent. You may exile dragons' approach and four of the cards named dragons' approach from your graveyard. If you do search your library for a dragon creature card, put it into the battlefield, then shuffle. It's really good, but, like, I am seeing a lot of it. So, like, I'm surprised. Uh, it's definitely going for... It's been going for a dollar for a little while now, but obviously that can be up to, you know, determination. This also going for quite a bit. This Uncommon, if you guys ever pulled this Clever Luminancer. As of right now, card's going for a little bit. Uh, and then there's our, our, our rare, Draconic Intervention. So, not bad. And then a shock. Ooh, cool. 
you love to see the art for that. It's pretty good. Man, I keep hitting this stupid thing. And then what is this? An enthusiastic study. And then this is our card from the list. A rare. Legendary land. Inventor's fair from... It looks like that's Kaladesh. Yeah. Kaladesh. Wow. Pretty cool. Okay, so list cards. Good stuff. Hollows. We'll put over here. Uh, haven't pulled any mythics yet, so... We're hoping that the mythic stuff... Actually, I'll probably just put this in the rare slot. Just because it is a rare card. Um, we'll probably leave these hollows over here. Move this stuff over here. Just because I'd rather have that on that. Whoop. Card fell over. Cool. All right. Let's keep opening packs. Sorry. Whoop. Pulled two. <laughs> um, that other one definitely wanted to be opened, it looks like. So... So you see, now, we pull this one, right? It's easy to find the patterns in these uh, in these ones. I know sometimes the cards will be, like, upside down or whatever, so it'll be, like, really, really weird, but um, oftentimes you'll find, the, you'll find the pattern. Containment Breach, all right, dope. That's going to be a uncommon card. We'll go through our commons. Only two commons, which means we have a lot of uncommons here. A Stonebinder's Familiar, Ardent Dust Speaker. Lorehold Excavation. Oh, Extus, Oracle Overlord. Okay. So that's Mythic. Uh, it's funny, I was actually looking at the uh, all the flavor text for these cards, and I kept seeing this guy's name pop up. And I was like, oh, what does he do? Who is he, right? Is he a card in the set? Turns out he is. So he's got an Awaken the Blood Avatar the back. Pretty wild-looking stuff. Uh, we also have a Strategic Planning. Ooh, a hollow defiance strike. So okay, we got our chances of these. Oh, that's that's pretty. Maybe we'll put you in the collector pile there. <laughs> um, definitely a more piles than what I had thought to be having today. But uh, like I said, we're just gonna kind of start to fly through these things here because I don't. I love to talk, but I don't want to waste your time. So we're gonna. We're going to keep going here. We don't have a card from the list, as is shown. Hollow Land. This is a common lesson. Got commons. Got my... These. Ooh, uh, oh, this is the, the Quandrix Snarl. That's very good. Getting these is like getting the uh, pathways. So, pretty good stuff as far as that goes. Um, thrill of Possibility and a Unwilling Ingredient. Boom, boom. Okay, cool. So, pretty cool stuff. Good to see that uh, you're getting a lot of the snarls, right? A lot more, I guess a lot more opportunity for rarer cards. So, we're also looking for gold stamped cards of those, because why not? Um, this looks like a uncommon lesson. Let's go through all these. If I find a dragon's approach... I'll obviously put it to the side because they're going for a bit. Is that our rare Archmage Emeritus? Oh, I just uh, pulled him the other way. There. Snake skin. Okay. And then a guiding voice. So, pretty cool to, to know that you get like a better chance at more rarities in here. Uh, not to mention list cards are also really good. So, just look at that art. Just look at that like really really cool so yeah i mean we're uh we're just kind of going through it right the art is so great and i love the lore behind the set um i wanted to almost do like a video specifically on doing that so um semester's end okay so that's our rare got a divine gambit and a Hollow Rutha Merciful Art... What does it say? Mercurial Artist. Oof. Almost messed that one up pretty bad, huh? So... <laughs> yeah, so definitely like the way the the, art, the cards are coming through. Um, I'm excited to get the Commander decks and try those out and go from there. So... Just to see what is available for all of us, right? Okay, got our Uncommon... 
They seem to have more commons than uncommons in here. Okay, Blue Sun's Zenith. That's a mythic. And then a Hollow Fractal Summoning. So, eh, 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 we'll put the mythics in the mythic pile. Why not? No, no, we should put it in the... We'll put it in the slot over here. So this is kind of like where you're looking, right? You have hollows, uh, also a hollow, right? It goes in the same pile. Um, and you have, so you have your art card, your land, your lesson, and and then any commons under it. Your uncommons, your rare, your uh, mystical archive slot, possibly a mythic, and then a hollow. So... Looks looks pretty good here. Um, oh, looks like we got another card from the list. Pretty good. Last card from the list was pretty good, so love to see it. A lot of hollow lands coming through here. Pretty good. This is a uncommon lesson. Boom, boom, boom. But yeah, so definitely enjoying this set a lot. Um, a lot of very fun cards. Verdant Mastery. And ex Ephemerate. And a Serpentine Curve. Ooh. Oh, is that from Urza's? Cradle Guard. That's from Urza's. Hmm. I didn't know they had these in here. That's pretty cool. Okay. All right, Urza's, I see you. Well, you're an Uncommon. I'll put you in the Uncommon slot. I'd, I'd, I'd make a list slot, but we're already, like, all over the place here. So I didn't want to just, like create a, a random slot but yeah so that's how you can kind of tell if you've got a list card in the back there is if you uh you do that oh it's a frost bro snow that you pulled earlier so, <laughs> but i'm having a lot of fun like i said opening these packs um a lot of good content in here and frankly i like opening all the different sets for you guys just so you can kind of see what you're gonna get right uh obviously pulls are ooh. It's our Mythic right there, Hoffrey, Ghost Forge, a Mind's Desire in, uh, it's Mythic, and then a Spectacle Mage, okay. Oh, excuse me. Whew, sorry about that, folks, just want to you know, sneeze out of there. Um, so yeah, so, uh, the lore is really cool for this set. Um, I really like what they did with all of it. Oh, hey, hey, there we go. Boom. A signed art card from it's Killian Ink Duelist by Ryan Pancoast. Well, Ryan, thank you so much for your wonderful contribution to art. Okay, I always can't get over the amount of like craziness that goes in here. Fixing piles, the piles are getting kind of crazy. But yeah, I always like the uh, the crazy art that we get out of all this. Um, obviously, if, if we ever run across Faithless Looting, which we haven't yet, fantastically enough, um, that's a card that I can show off on here. Oh, hey, look at that. We got him in the pack. I wonder if it's guaranteed. We had that happen before, where we pulled the art card and then the art, the card was in it, but. All right. Killian, Reflective. Rutha again, but non-hollow. Multiple choice. Quandrix card. Compulsive research. And a spring mare... Spring main? Spring main servant. Okay. Fun stuff. Yeah, I wonder if that's the case. I mean, I doubt it, right? Because how would they know? Right? How would they know that, like, oh, that, oof, what is happening with this pack? Get out of here. You want to be difficult? Will be difficult. I'll be difficult all day to the all the way to the bank. <laughs> all the way to the bank. I'll be difficult anyway. Pop that off. Land. A lot of un, a lot of common uh, lessons coming out of these ones. Okay, fortifying drought. Oh, vanishing verse. That's a pretty good one. It's a couple dollars there. Might actually. Uh, Go ahead and sleeve that. Oh, we got two. We got two rares. This is a selfless glyph weaver and a deadly vanity modal dual card. Pretty cool. We also got a divine gambit 
and a divide by zero. Okay. Fix my pile here. Ugh. Sorry if there's any like rough cuts in here, guys. It's just like blew my nose pretty much. It's a little sniffly. Uh, bam. Okay, look at that. Uh, it looks like we had another card from the list on the back of here, so excited to see that. More of these commons here. And then we've got the uncommons. A manifestation sage. Okay. A duress. We already got a couple of those. Containment breach. And a great teacher's decree. That's from... I don't know what actually what set that's from. It's the same set my Coco show is from. Um, couldn't tell you honestly, but I'll remember it at some point, probably at the end of the video <laughs> when we're done. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys pulled though. I know uh, probably a lot of Strixhaven is coming up and is is being pulled online, and everybody's making their videos and doing their own thing. And so, is this card? We got this one already. So. Uh, yeah, a lot of this expanded anatomy in this in this box. A lot of it. Yeah. Dragons! Look at him! Oh, he's a spiky boy. He's very spiky. Um, okay, Prismari, Hall of Oracles. Got it. Oh, cool. Double rare pack. Love to see it. Claim the Firstborn. And a Mascot Interception. Okay. Yeah, let me know what you guys are pulling. If you guys are pulling anything really, really, really good, obviously make a video of it. Maybe send it to me. Maybe uh, post it online for the world to see because good pulls are good pulls. Um, I always, I just enjoy, I enjoy looking at the cards and I enjoy the lore about them and everything. So it's always a fun time to get to see everybody else's pulls too. I'm still surprised we pulled that Professor Onyx, literally our first video of Strixhaven, so. But, oh, look at that, another Quandrix Command, okay. A, oh, cool, Increasing Vengeance Mythic, and a Deadly Brew Hollow. So, yeah, I like you're at least guaranteed a Hollow, obviously, that's really good. Um, but I prefer it to be more of the uh, Mystical Archive Hollows apps of freaking Lutely. But, look at that. Jodzy. Um, but yeah, no. Oh, look at that. See? See? Like, you have something like this that happens sometimes, too. Literally, this is the only common. And this is a whole pack of uncommon cards. So, Stormkill and Arcanist. Team Pennant. Zephyr Boots. Umbral Juke. Mascot Interception. Venerable Warbringer, Defiant Strike, and a Make Your Mark. Yeah, I, li I like that they kind of like can vary between commons and uncommons in these sets. So like you either get a lot of commons or you get a lot of uncommons. And it all is depending. So this is our another list card. Oh, that looks familiar. Uh, I also, fun fact, have a collector booster box opening coming, or a collector booster box coming in, uh, that hopefully we can all open together, um, fun, I'm gonna put that Luminancer over there, I actually probably should have taken that, uh, probably should have taken the, uh, this fracture actually too, hey, we got the double major, this card's really good, copy target creature spell you control, except it isn't legendary if the spell is legendary, really good for, like, commander stuff, village rights, bam, an Ageless Guardian. Bogart Arsonists. Okay. It's a common. But, um, yeah. As I was saying, uh, I have a, uh, collector booster box coming in that we can open together. It's pretty much the last of the content that I have, uh, for Strixhaven, uh, other than, like, deck building and such. God, just look at that pretty that is which one is which one are you your sign in blood is that what it says maybe focus please that'd be great yeah sign in blood so pretty cool 
pretty cool. And it's weird, too, because, like, these art cards are actually, like, worth something. Believe it or not, I uh, I went online and I saw that TCG Player had an entire series um, specifically for the art cards. Like, they just... You were able to just look specifically for the art cards. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. So I guess there are people who are collecting them, which is really good. I'd collect them, but I don't know. I like to play with the cards and the art's on the cards already. So I'm not, like, losing my mind if I don't get to do that. Baleful Mastery. Ooh, dude, we just went ahead a whole bunch. My bad, guys. Uh, Stone Rain and a Golden Ratio. Yeah, so I... Uh, <laughs> The cards are, like, very, very, um, how do I say? They're almost, like, matte. Like, they, they feel, they're not, like, sticky, right? But they kind of, like, have a lot of friction just because they're so new. So, all right. But, yeah, we're having a, we're having a fun time opening this. It's definitely, I keep, like, like whenever I, I, I do that, right? It, it takes, like, several of the cards all at once, and I'm just like, what the hell? Also, did I just put an uncommon up here? I did. I put several uncommons up here. You stay up there. Your uncommons. Goodness, what is happening, folks? My piles. I'm gonna get more, get my shit together. All right. And a hunt for specimens. So, we're not even, like, halfway through yet. I mean, we're making, making some solid progress here, which is really good. Got another list card also coming up, so that's very fun. Okay, I'm gonna stop hitting this thing. I'm literally, you guys, I'll do like a day where I can show you guys my setup, but like I essentially just have um, my, uh, I have my phone on like a, uh, this is how we'll do it. <laughs> Not up, but down. Ooh, a Silver Quill Command in hollow. Good stuff. Oh, and a Contagion Engine. I think it's Scars of Mirrodin, if I'm correct. I'm going to put you in the rares over there. And you can go in the hollow slot. So, um, pretty cool. I like getting the commands. Is it going to be good? I'm excited to play the Silver Quill Commander uh, deck. I know uh, I, I bought all five. Because I wanted to play all five. Uh, I wanted to test them out and see how they play. And uh, I get to go up against my girlfriend, which is really, really good. So trying out a whole bunch of stuff. Maybe we'll get some dual videos out and uh, see that. But yeah. So uh, but there's a lot going to be there. Oh, shoot. Woo. Yeah. Gales of Prismari. Bah! Bah! Oh, man. Oh, you're going to the fancy pile. Oh, dang, man. That's good. That's good. I was hoping to get an Elder Dragon out of this, and I did. I did get an Elder Dragon out of this. Actually, we'll just put you in the Mythic slot, because that's where you need to go. Oh, it's not the Borderless one, but it is really good. Galazeth Prismari. I'd like to collect at least one of all the dragons, preferably in their borderless art, but that's really, really cool. Good stuff. Good stuff, guys. Uh, the Prismari stuff's going for quite a bit. I know Witherbloom is getting a lot of uh, a lot of love throughout the set. Uh, Quandrix also has been, like, killing it. But I haven't heard anything about Lorehold, but that's probably because it's red-white and nobody wants to play red-white. So <laughs> Ooh, Ovita, Dina Perfection. The modal card of Nasari, Dean of Expression, Ifrit, and a Jin. Cool. We got Adventurous Impulse and a Illustrious Historian. Cool. All right. We're about halfway through the box now. We've got ourselves, you know, for what three mythics so far. So here I was thinking the mythic slot was going to be nuts. I mean, we got mythics in here too, so technically it's not a bust, but. Um, I am at least would like some more Strixhaven Mythics because that's kind of why I buy these cards is to get cards for the set, uh, because, you know, you want to build a deck, right? <laughs> a, uh, Rushed Rebirth, a Doomblade, it's a pretty cool looking card, 
and then I square up. Square up! Fight or fight. Alright. We're on to our last little column here after this pack. So, definitely not much left, but we're having a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, I definitely want to know what you guys pull. Um, tell me about your sick, sick pulls. Um, all about your, your borderless dragons and your demonic tutors and the whole thing. Um, I want to know about it because, like, why not? Another one of these snarls. Snarls are really good. I'm, I'm glad to be getting these. Opt. Okay, pass summoning. And then, oh, hey, this is our list card. Beanstalk Giant. And it's, uh, this is a showcase art for Throne. It's pretty cool. It's unfortunate, though, because I already own this in, from Throne. So, <laughs> I'm not, uh, I'm not, uh, uh, what do you call it? I already have the better version of it. But, still good to see, you know, in case anybody needed a Beanstalk Giant. But, it's so weird to see cards that come from sets that are already in Standard to, like, cards that already come from standard to just be available in something that is so, like, amazing, like the list, right? Because it's like, it doesn't really make sense. Your, <laughs> your cards are supposed to be, like, the older ones, right? Okay, Arcane Substitutes... Or, or, or can subtraction, not substitutes. I don't know what the hell that was, what I was talking about there. Man, these packs do open, like, every which way, too. So it's almost, like, an odd thing to see it here. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to play some Silver Quill. I'm not going to lie. Silver Quill, I'm very excited to see more of. I didn't put this land down. Um, excited to play some Silver Quill. I would like to make Lorehold work. Um, because I do like Red White. But, oh, look, another Snarl. Oh, man, this is a Snarl pad. I think we've got, like, one of every Snarl so far. Pretty cool. Agonizing Remorse, and a Reject. Oh, and this is our list card. A Noble Benefactor. That's from Weatherlight? It's from Weatherlight. Huh. Okay, well, I don't actually know what you're from, so you're going to go in the rare pile for right now. Because I don't know, I know where you're from. You're from Weatherlight. I don't know what your rarity is. Granted, it's also from the list, so I'd imagine its rarity is probably not super great. It's not like the card from Weatherlight. It's a card that's been reprinted from Weatherlight, which is not exactly better. <laughs> it's still a reprint, so. Prismari Command 2. Yes! I love getting all the commands. Ooh! Mila Crafty Companion. A legendary creature fox and a fury eight under there. A Luca Wayward Bonder. Oh, this is uh This is that planeswalker from Ikoria. Luca, I think. That's really cool. Nice mythic in that slot there. We've got an Infuriates, and then we have a first day of class. So Wow, we're down to what? Our last four packs technically with that, so pretty exciting stuff. I love to see it. Love to see some good pulls here. Definitely not as many mythics as I'd expected. I know there was uh there was always talk of like, oh man, dude, there's gonna be so there's so many mythics in the set, like in the set boosters. Like you're gonna go insane. You're gonna have like twelve hundred mythics. But I mean I figured it wasn't gonna actually be that much because I mean why the heck would it be? An Auric lore mage? Okay. This is the guy that follows that other one. There's a another rare Plarg Dean of Chaos. In Augusta, Dean of Order. Very pretty cards. This is the, the Lorehold Dean, it looks like. Um, then you also have the Inquisition of Kozilek, which actually, I believe, goes for quite a bit right now. So that's pretty cool. Charge through. So, yeah. A lot of, lot of really, really, really good cards. Like, it, it's surprising, right? I mean, obviously, this isn't, you know, time spiraled with getting the crazy time spiral. Oh, we got another one. Boom. Storm killed artist. Right? Arsonist? Storm killed. No. Storm killed artist. That's the one. 
got the gold the gold signature there so that's very cool um yeah there's just so many like good looking cards in here and i can't wait to continue to make decks out of these and play around with them and see what's available so all right let's just let's just do this the right way here boom what is this retriever phoenix negate okay and a spirit summoning and a this card from the list is dominaria that is a common from dominaria if i am recalling correctly so bam bam wa bam all right two packs left two packs i know it's a pretty long video i think it's only because i ramble a whole lot and i don't ever really mean to ramble that much but i do i ramble a lot and i will continue to ramble for a long time because that's what i do that's what we do here right we talk chat hang out with one another it's just what we've done crack fumes again but there's not a lot of like crazy lesson cards as far as i can tell the lesson stuff is not uh as much of a big uh game changer in this set okay tempted by the auric again got that one back before tezzeret's gambit we've gotten that one before an academic dispute all right we're down to our final pack guys been a fun ride. No matter what we get out of this pack, we had a good time. We got a dragon. We got a few mythics. We got some really good uh, cards there. We only got one hollow... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Only one hollow uh, mystical archive card, but those are rare for a reason, you know? So, <laughs> so I'm not worried. Uh, oh, this is the Avatar card. That you can play the one there. All right, got a planes. All right, let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it, guys. I'm calling hype from around the globe. Let's make it happen. We're gonna pop you here. You here. Oh, an exponential growth and an augmenter pugilist. Whoop! I just you right to there. Okay, and eliminate. And then a stone rise spirit. So. Not much in that final pack there, which is fun. So, all right. That's our packs. Um, I guess if we were to go over anything, um, you're going to want to look out for some of these cards in your packs because a lot of people will just go, oh, it's an uncommon or a common. I don't think it's going to be worth anything. Fracture's going for a lot. Um, or Well, it's going for at least like a dollar. Um Clever Luminancer, also going for like a dollar. Pretty good, though. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, gets plus two, plus two until the end of turn. Really good. Uh, and then you have Dragon's Approach, which is a common card in this set, and I see often, but never uh, a crazy amount there. We also got our wonderful Hollow Defiance Strike, a beginning to our uh, collection, because I would like to get uh, all of the Hollow Mystical Archive cards from here. Uh, and then these, out of a whole box, these are our mythics. Amila, Crafty Companion. Galazeth Prismari, the Elder Dragon. We got a Hoffrey Ghost Forge. And we got an Exodus, Oric Overload. Oric Overlord. With also the Av Awaken the Blood Avatar on it. So that's that. And then we got a whole bunch of rares, too. So if we want, we can go over the rares, but uh, I think you guys already know the gist there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you, and uh, I uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching all the videos that we've had out. Um, hopefully, you guys are liking that quad series that I've been posting. I know it's uh, I know it's only four packs, and you know only like anywhere from like ten to fifteen minutes, except for that one that I made twenty minutes because I just rambled, much like this video. But uh, I have fun. I have fun doing this. I have fun playing the cards with you guys, and hopefully we can get some dueling videos up soon and we can get that going. So thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And, uh, you know, keep on loving the cardboard. All right, guys. Nerd out.